I'm Dr. Sarah Lam, Assistant Vice President of International Affairs. This is a meeting as, uh, specifically designed for our current students to let us know how they are doing in this semester and also what your concerns might be for the coming spring 2021 um, sessions. Before we start, I would like to acknowledge my supervisors and colleagues. Um, I ha we have Dr. Scott Moore, if you can wave, Scott Moore, our Dean of Continuing Global Education, Dr. Bernadette Muscat, um, our Dean of Undergraduate Studies, and Dr. Jim Marshall, our Dean of Research and Graduate Studies. Um, they are here to listen to all of our students' um, experience and concerns. Um, before we talk about um, questions you might have for spring 2021, I just want to um, set, want us to have this chance to celebrate that we are in fall 2020. And there are a lot of exciting things that we still are doing for international students. So what I would like to do is first to have Jamie Jones, um, our coordinator of International Student Services, to highlight some of the things that is going on for the fourth semester. So um, Andrew, if you can share the screen. Okay, hi guys. Um, yeah, so we just wanted to start out with you to let you guys know that we, um, you know, even though we are virtual, we still have support and um, we're always here to help. So, you know, as we said, we're support for you is always just a click or a call away. So don't hesitate to still um, reach us. Um, a few things just to highlight that we have going on is walk-in Wednesday. So you don't need an appointment. If you have a quick question that you need to get answered from one of your advisors or admissions reps, you can always just pop on. The link is on our homepage um, from 9 to 11 or 1.30 to 4, and somebody will be there to assist you. We also have... We also have International Talking Circle. Um, which is um, available for all students on Friday afternoons um, with one of our counselors from the health center if you want to talk about anything that's going on or how you're feeling. Of course, we have um, bi-weekly international ambassador meetings if you're interested in some peer-to-peer -peer interaction and advice. And then of course we have our workshops um, still running throughout the semester either um, in real time or um, or um, you can also do them online as well if you, if you can't actually make one of the, the normal appointments. And for fall, oops, can you go back one? Also, for our fall activities, we're still going strong. Um, we'll still be having coffee hour that starts up next week on the 22nd. We're just moving the time back a little bit from 4 to 5, so that's an opportunity to kind of do a little armchair armchair travel and share your culture and if you're interested in participating please let us know we still have some slots available towards the end of the semester we'd love to have you um, for international fun night um, that's going to be coming up towards the end of this month as well an opportunity to log in and see some other students both current and new um, international education week is comes up in november as does culture night as a, as a way to celebrate international education um, and then lastly of course we have um, again, the CPT, OPT workshops, and some of the other workshops that are going on, on throughout the semester. So just because we're virtual doesn't mean that we don't still have a lot of great things going on. Um, in addition to, of course, things that student involvement and other clubs and orgs are doing on campus. So, you know, I hope that you will stay active and join us and connect with students um, this semester. And lastly, we have just a reminder for Bulldog Global, if you are part of it, great. I hope that you are having the opportunity to connect with your student, um, with your domestic students via email, Zoom, WhatsApp, Messenger, FaceTime, telephone, whatever that way that you're best connecting with them. And if you haven't had an opportunity to sign up or be part of that and you would like to, um, please let us know. We still have more domestic students that would love to be buddied up with an international student. And we um, are more than excited and, and ready to help you um, join the Bulldog International Global Family. So again, make sure you email us if you're still interested and you would like to participate in something. But 
all of these slides are basically just to let you know that we're still here. The university is still here to help. There's still a lot of fun things going on. And, um, you know, we want to make sure that you get connected this fall semester. Thank you, Jamie. As you can see, when Jamie is talking with us, she has her kids around. Um, Sorry about to, that. <laughs> and there's no apology necessary, but this is exactly the real life of us um, working and you guys studying online. And who knows your um, uh, home environment, how easy it is for you to um, get support and feel um, you are in the best environment to do your studying. So I just want to remind you guys that even though you are um, enrolled and taking classes online, there are many, many support services for you to make sure that you succeed academically. So one example is the tutoring sessions. They are now online and you have people who can help you with um, specific to your major, the things that um, they can support you. Please don't miss out on that. The next one is um, our help center, especially during this special time when we rely a lot on technology to, um, to be able to participate in different class activities. I strongly um, advise you to reach out to help center, talk with your instructor if you have any concerns with um, the use of technology, how it might compromise your situation, to get help and accommodation that you may need. If you need help to communicate with in your instructor, you might feel um, uncertain how to articulate your needs, feel free to reach out to Jamie Jones or Jasmine Chow. They will help you to understand your situation. And the last thing, um, some of the students, especially uh, students who are new in this semester, you might not know that um, there is a provision for fall 2020 that uh, depending on how you feel about your courses going on. And if you feel um, the letter grading might be creating a lot of stress on certain courses that you are taking, there's an option for you to choose credit or non-credit. Uh, there might be some courses that have opted out of this provision. But if you feel stressed, you feel like, you know, what if I'm not doing as well as I expected? What kind of accommodation that might have. Um, talk with Jamie and Jasmine. Um, they can also let you know um, that this um, credit on credit grading might be an option to help ease some of your stress. So this is so much about um, our activities for international students. We have engaged student life. You have support for your academic needs. And now we come to the next question is about looking forward to spring 2021. I believe every one of you, if you check your email, I understand that your email box has been um, maxed out with a lot of messages. So just to recapture that um, our university leader has um, already um, announced that spring instruction will continue with mostly virtual instruction and likely include a limited number of specialized in-person classes and with a limited number of students living in campus housing. And currently, um, a planning task force has included people, including you guys, including students, to, um, to understand um, the I needs need, of- I need something from you before to take shower. Say it again. Sorry, okay. sorry. sorry. <laughs> right. So um, basically, um, a task force that include a lot of different groups will uh, reflect the needs and also come up with a plan. So a plan will be announced in October. But meanwhile, you might have questions, um, basically about two important aspects. So I would like Jasmine to talk about one implication, um, immigration related. Jasmine. Hi everybody, it's great to see you here. Um, so, uh, the seamless implication, I just want to mention that uh, things can be changing. There's uh, 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 like, a, you know, the policy has been uh, having fluid uh, changes.
But for now, if the CIVIS guidance uh, remain the same for spring 2021, then you should be able to take full-time classes either inside of the U.S. or outside of the U.S., just like this semester to maintain your F1 status. And um, also, um, if you're interested in applying for OPT, you will be able to uh, physically applying for OPT uh, inside of the U.S. So if anyone who's here uh, right now in outside of the U.S. and want to apply for OPT next semester, uh, then you may be able to plan to return to the U.S. and you can reach out to uh, either me or Jamie and we will verify your status and issue you the supporting letter. Uh, for you to return to the U.S. Um, Excuse and, me. Yes. Sorry to interrupt, but I have one question regarding OPT. Uh, okay. Like, do I have to come to Fresno if I have to apply, or can it be done online? Uh, we will have time to answer the questions at the uh, end of this uh, presentation. So okay. free, I will answer you at that time. Okay. And after your question will be the first question you respond. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. So, um, last one, anything to continue? Yeah, and um, for next semester, if you choose to continue to study uh, outside of the U.S., uh, just a reminder that the insurance, health insurance can be waived upon your request, uh, but you do need to show the proof uh, of your physical presence is not in the U.S. through submitting an I-94. Um, so these are the CVIS updates, or let's say this is a CVIS uh, policy for right now. There's no more CVIS updates at this moment. Um, so yeah, the implication will be the same. Thank you, Jasmine. The next question, um, if you are newly admitted students to fall 2020 and you have registered for classes outside the US now, um, you might have questioned with what will happen if spring 2021 continue to remain virtual. What will be your option? Danny, would you take this away? Yes. Hi, good afternoon or good morning to all of you if you are overseas. I'm Danny. I'm the coordinator of international missions. And uh, you know, to many of you that uh, have been communicating uh, throughout daily process and look forward to really uh, continue to connecting with you uh, you will have a few options. For those of you who are currently enrolled overseas, you can still enroll in spring 2021 at home or overseas uh, who's outside the United States. You will need a 2021 I-20 to enter the United States next August. So in this case, if that's what you would like to do, and please send me an email with your student ID number. That's all I need, because I can find other information from the, in the system. So again, my email is on the slide, dwan at csufresno.edu. Once again, just send me your name and your, and your student ID, and then I will reply to you and most of you know, I reply to you very quickly and I will let you know, when are you gonna get your fall 2021 I-20, okay? And also, of course, you will get a letter from me as well. A letter will be a visa support letter, just like what you did. Most of you already have the spring 2021 I-20 with the visa support letter that is signed by Dr. Sarah Lynn. The next option that you have is that if you decide to come here in January, and then you will need the spring 2021 I-20 and that visa support letter. Again, most of you already have that. Uh, I sent it to all of you uh, weeks or days ago. Some of you might still not have it. It's because uh, various issues. You might, you might need to talk to me a little bit but that's okay. It will take some time to get your spring 2021 I-20. We'll get it done. And then, um, and of course, you will need to come here and enroll at least one in-person class and then before you arrive in Fresno. And then 
we will have the list available in the middle of October, and then you will receive, again, most of you already received the I-20 for spring and the letter. So if you have any questions, you can always email me. Again, some of you don't have the letter in I-20 yet, just hold on, we will send it to you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Danny. Um, I understand we do not have a lot of students here, but I would like to have a, some polling to see who are in the room with us. So Andrea, would you help us to get some sense of students where they are at right now? Okay, Andrea, can you? Now this is the polls. Would students please respond to these questions? Are we ready? Andrea, let us know the result when it's ready. It's wonderful. Half of the group are continuing blue dog and half of the group is the new blue dog. So you guys represent the two groups and please spread the words about what you learned today. And so far my classes in fall 2020, amazing. I think our deans would love to see that. 75% are great and 25 are okay. And not, not yet needing help, but we are always here for you. So Andrea, what I would like you to do is to stop recording so that the student might have the space. If you feel comfortable turning um, on your camera, um, asking question right now, 